visible light is the part of the electromagnetic spectrum with a wavelength between 400 and 700 nanometers. If whole, we'll see the spectrum as white light. Smaller slices appear as different colors, like the slices split by raindrops forming a rainbow. But how do we describe color to someone lacking these concepts? To an extraterrestrial being, it could be said that blue is what we call to the slice of the electromagnetic spectrum close to 470 nanometers, which we perceive through specialized organs. But is anyone able to say that my blue is the same as your blue? We agree that grass is green in daylight, but do you see what I see? Is my yellow your purple? Is taste a relative absolute or an absolute relative? Ancient Greeks used to be thought of as colorblind. There is little color in Greek literature. Indeed, color is a hard subject for any language. All languages start with a black and a white, dark and light. Then enters red, then green and yellow, then blue and brown. In the Middle Ages, the English had no words for orange. Instead, they saw something between yellow and red. Nowadays, every slice of the spectrum has a name. Be it fuchsia, beige, colbert blue, a Pantone reference or the double F, double six, double zero some web designers are fond of. Each slice, each color has a character. Orange is hot, yellow is dry, blue is cold and wet. Green is natural, red is painful, gold is the color of kings and queens. Purple is mad, as it can be both warm and cool at the same time. Gray is stable, white can be trusted, black means death in a pirate ship. Light cut into slices can be put back together. A slice of red light, a slice of green and a slice of blue form together a white beam. Red and green make yellow, yellow and blue makes white. Red and blue turn into magenta, magenta and green makes white. Green and blue gives you cyan, cyan and red makes white. Objects reflect those colors they do not absorb. Thus, magenta ink absorbed all green. This way, the primary colors of pigments are the exact opposite of the three primary colors of light. Red, green and blue give way to their opposites. Cyan, magenta and yellow. Join these three inks and you'll get black. Red, green and blue are all absorbed. Every color we see is either direct light or its filtered reflection. Every color is the result of partial darkness. It's all about light, shadows and reflections. Hence, the strange feeling we're trying to put evasive ghosts into words.